Well, there is new evidence a child could be injured if they are left alone in a car seat. I think just about every parent should know that. News 19's Rosemary Belt sat down with a Prisma Health pediatrician to find out how to prevent a potentially serious accident. According to a recent report from the American Academy of Pediatrics, 700 infants die each year in sitting devices like car seats, strollers, bouncers, or swings when those devices are used improperly for routine sleep. Pediatrician at Prisma Health Children's Hospital Midlands, Dr. Susan Lamb, is here to talk about this recent report. So what were some of the findings that surprised you? Certainly. So one of the leading causes of death in children is unsafe sleep conditions, but it was very surprising that 3% of deaths occurred not in any kind of sleeping apparatus, a crib, a bassinet, a bed. They occur in what are called sitting or playing devices. So your car seat, your stroller, your bouncer, your swing. Um, and 3% of deaths is a pretty significant number of children. Right. And these are devices, I mean, I'm sure we have viewers at home probably have a child in one of these, you know, devices that we're talking about. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, you know, going, jumping in the car to, to, you know, quiet a baby down is really, really common, even for siblings to look after after kids. What are some uh, signs that something could be wrong? Certainly. So when a kid is being transported, there's motion, there's movement, that's going to keep them awake or sleeping lightly. So oh, when a baby okay. is in a device like a car seat or a stroller and you're not moving, if they slide down in their car seat or if one of the straps is around their airway, if they start changing colors, they're sleeping too deeply and they're getting into a position where they can die in that device. So what are some tips that parents at home or caregivers or siblings mm -hmm. can do to minimize these chances of injury? Sure. So first of all, use the devices like they're supposed to be used right. for transporting children or if you're playing with them. So if they're in their swing and you're playing, you're watching, they're awake. Now if they fall asleep and you're looking right at them and watching them, it can be safe. But the minute that you're distracted, you've got to cook dinner, you're looking after another child, maybe you want to lay down and get some rest pick the baby up out of those devices and put them in a safe sleep environment, their bassinet or crib. So to wrap things up, what would be, uh, I know there's the three ABCs mm -hmm. of sleep. Could you just share that with our viewers? Sure, so the ABCs of safe sleep are always alone, always on your back, and in a crib or a bassinet. Thank you, Dr. Lamb.